Hey everybody. Today I'm going to tie the Unknown Bully. It's a streamer pattern that I come up with five or six years ago. Um, it's done very well over the, all over the United States. Uh, a gentleman in Utah purchased some and he's did very well on the Provo River uh, for brown trout. I had a gentleman in Arkansas purchase some. He mainly fishes the White River and he caught this beautiful brown trout pictured here. As well as uh, myself and my son, we've done well on this pattern. Um, here's, a, here's some photos of the fish that we've caught. So to get started with this, um, the front hook is a Gamagatsu, there we go, Gamagatsu B tennis stinger hook in the size two. The rear hook is a Montana Fly Company wide gap streamer hook with a vertical eye in a size four, model uh, 7052. For the tail, I'm going to use some olive marabou, and I do a stack tail with this fly, so it's two marabou plumes on top of each other. And add a little crystal flash and pearl to the tail. For the body, I'm going to use some UV polar chenille and the olive copper. This is my favorite polar chenille color and then we're going to add some uh, perfectly barred silly legs in the fluorescent chartreuse color and then for the front of the hook I'm gonna repeat the material list there and then once you get towards the head, which is this piece here, is a tan marabou plume. And I use that just to give the, the head a little more ramp. And for the head, I'm going to use Senyo's Laser Dub and Light Olive and Senyo's laser dub in white. The thread, I'm using a brown olive UTC 140 denier. For the eye, it's a double pupil from Hairline and yellow, white, and black. My articulation wire is 19 strand beadlon and I use two orange beads uh, to create that articulation point on the fly so let's uh, let's get started here okay so I got my Montana Fly Company uh, wide gap hook with the vertical eye. Um, it's a it's a hook that Kelly Gallup designed, and I really like it a lot. I don't really see any difference between you know the vertical eye and the horizontal eyes. Um, I just I like this design. Just personal preference. We're going to start our thread, wrap back to where the barb meets the shank in line. And we're going to start with 
two marabou plumes. And I make my tails slightly longer than the hook shank. You don't have to go super crazy, but. Go ahead and tie that in. And wrap your marabou forward. We have our next plume here. Go ahead and wrap this back. And you want to make sure that your marabou's staying on top of that hook. Take your next piece, make it the same length. Go ahead and wrap that forward. And wrap back again. Essentially, it's kind of a start of a woolly bugger. I'm going to take three strands of pearl crystal flash. Line the tips up. Go ahead and tie those in. I just take flip it over and go down the other side, cut them the same length. And then next is our UV polar chenille. And you want to make sure that the, the fibers on the polar chenille are going this way. So it'll be towards the bend of the hook. And tie them in. And just go ahead and wrap this forward. Make sure you're pulling them fibers back. I try to make touching turns. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's all in preference. Go ahead and capture that. Comb that out a little bit and bring it back. Take two barred silly legs. Go ahead and tie them in. One side. The other side. Grab the whip finisher and go ahead and finish that off. And 
And I take and just pull the legs down so they're even. Cut them the same length. Hit it with a little little loon thin. And there is the back portion of the unknown bully. And go ahead and put our B10S hooking device. Start our thread behind the eye. Take our double pupil eye. Tie that in. And then rotate it so it's on the bottom. Go ahead and wrap back to the bend of the hook, slightly past the bend, so the eyes are straight there. I'm going to hit that with a little zap. And I'm going to grab my beadlon wire. And tie it on to the hook shank. Oop, broke my thread. And go ahead and wrap back. I'm going to take two orange beads. And slide them on there. And take my rear hook. And you want to make sure leave a little bit of a gap there not a big gap you don't want it so long that it's going to follow on itself and then you want to tie the articulation wire on the opposite side of you on the hook shank and i just take and Bend that back. Go over top of it. Now some guys use the... They'll take the articulation wire, go around the eyes. I don't do that. I've never... I've never had a back hook pull out. So, I'm pretty confident with... With how I tie it, but... Everybody has their own their own preference and that's that's what makes this that's what makes this fun. So many ways to do this. Go ahead and throw this zap on there and just clean it off with some extra marabou fibers. Now I'm gonna take Another piece of olive marabou. And I'm going to just kind of fold the marabou around the, the shank. It doesn't have to be spectacular. It's kind of so it 
kind of hides them beads a little bit. I like them orange beads. I found them at Hobby Lobby. Um, I think they, to me it resembles kind of like a an egg sack. Go ahead and take your marabou up. Come back. And I'm going to take and clip that like so. Grab your three pieces of crystal flash. Go ahead and tie those in. And same thing as the rear hook, just fold them over to the other side. Cut them to length. Take that UV polar chenille. Make sure we got the fibers going the right way here. Go ahead and catch him. Wrap up to the towards the eyes. And the same thing. Just palmer that chenille forward. I try to make the, the front a little bit fuller. Fluff them out a little bit. Grab another pair of silly legs. Tie those in. Make them the same length. Next, grab a piece of tan marabou. This is that part where I'm going to create that ramp for the for the head. I go just just almost past the bend of the hook. Capture that. I'm going to grab some white Senyo's laser dub. And I just take and try to line them tips up, pull it apart. Flip the vise over. Try to split the distance. Three wraps. Flip it back over. Grab some olive, light olive, Senyo's laser dub. Same thing. Line them tips up. And you want to try not to catch the white. And do three tight wraps. Then I take the olive, both sections of the olive, and the back section of the white. And I come up, I cross over the eyes, pull the front part section of the white and wrap in front of it.
And I'm going to repeat. Grab some white. Sunyo's laser dub. Flip it over. One, two, three. Grab another section of olive. Place that on top. One, two, three. Pull that white back. Make your make your head. And I take hair clip. Just what holds all that back. That way I can get a whip finish without catching any of the fibers of the laser dub. And just take and Work it a little bit. And that is a fly. I'm just going to take my dubbing brush and kind of comb out the head a little bit. This fly the we've done well with the just uh, dead drifting it and also stripping it, of course. But there it is. That is the completed Unknown Bully. I do have a brown trout variation that I, I'd like to try to get a video of this week. Uh, maybe next week, depending on how things go. But if you like... Uh, please subscribe and share it with some of your buddies. I don't think you'll be disappointed with the fly. I, like I said, I've, we've done very well with it. So, thanks for watching and tie some up. Hit the water.